We're trying something new today. I'm gonna do as little editing as possible. We have the Umarex Gauntlet 30 out. We got Griffin 78 grain boat tail slugs. We got the DNT Therm Knight. We're gonna do some scope footage. We have three targets set up. 35 yards, 70 yards, and 100 yards. I have the scope, we're pretty much zeroed at 35, so let's put some shots on target. We're gonna step up to 70 after that. And then instead of zeroing at 70, we're just gonna practice compensating. We're gonna just try a little scenario of, you know, training a little bit and practicing without adjusting anything, just for fun. So let's just get started. We'll try and do as little editing as possible. Obviously I have the green screen out, so, you know, I'll have to edit that in, but I'm not gonna like cut things. So if you like long pauses in between shots, well, you're in for a treat. And if you do like this type of content, YouTube has absolutely limited my reach. Less than 10% of my subscribers are now getting any sort of thumbnail on their feed from my videos. So if you like this content and you wanna see more of it and you wanna help me out, please share it. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you. All right, 35 yards. I'm gonna go for like five center bullseyes and then move on from there. Wanna at least get five. So we are just a tiny, tiny bit to the left. But we're compensating, right? That is the practice for today. One more, we'll move to 70. All right, all of those were pretty much in the same hole. Let me just get this set up for 70. Not a big fan on the digital zoom on this. It's way too pixelated. Now, I'll probably make the you know, the recorded image, image through the scope, um, relatively small. All right, so we're at plus two. Let's see what that does here. We are a little bit to the left. All right, so not nearly as much drop. We're at like one and a half. Let's try that out. All right, we need to go down just a little bit more. go Let's see what we can hold for a group here now if I had my other scope out like pretty much any other scope be able to see exactly what's going on down there. I think that's one, two, three, four. That is five, but I'm not gonna count that top one. Let's do five for the group. I think that's five. You'll have to excuse me if we are off a little bit. 100 yards. All right. I do have a steal in my way. I'm gonna go like, let's say like four. All right. Let me 
aiming just to the right. I'm in that white spot on the top middle headshot. Four is directly over the middle bullseye. <sighs> Heart is racing. Alright, we are high. We are pretty much a three. We want to go just a tad bit more to the right. So three is just going to be on the border of the bullseye. Let's try that. Three's going to be centered next time. That looks good, though. I think that's a hit. Do you want to go up? Just a fraction. Let's try this out. Yep. Two more. I have one bow tail left after this. I think that's five. Let's go for that top middle headshot at 100, though. I think I'm just at the top, but I'm pretty sure we just hit it. All right. Let's run through this course again. Let's do top middle head shot. Thirty five yards. Okay. Let's take one zoom off. Make it look a little bit clearer. All right, five middle headshot bullseyes. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're just a touch to the left here. Still to the left. Still to the left. Still think those are all headshots, so or bullseyes rather. Let's do 70. Well, we we were at like one and a half at 70. I think that was it, right? Get zoomed in again. One and a half at 70. I don't even know where that just went. Let me do middle bullseye again. Let's aim for, actually, let's do that far right line. All right. We're at like one over to the left. Not even one down. I can't even remember if that was the same as last time. All right, let's try this.
take one over. Too far to the left. All right, let's try that. Why do I feel like I'm more left than I was before? Now we're just a little bit low. All right, I'm gonna try and put that one on there. Let's aim for the one. So if I'm like right here, maybe. Now I'm confusing myself. That's why we're practicing this. I don't do this often enough. There we go. 100 should be fun, right? <laughs> I'm actually having a hard time seeing the reticle. Let me just go on the options real quick. I guess we'll just try red. Oh, fuck. I can now. I can barely even see it. I gotta go back. Well, I guess green. Green it is. We're sticking with green. problem is the clarity with this scope I really can't tell where I'm hitting right now I honestly don't know this might have been a bad test for this all right let's go for that top right head shot let's just see where we're going Now we're right. I, I feel like the scope is shifting. All right, let's go for in between. There we go. There we go. I think that's three right in there. I can't really tell from here. That's definitely four stacked in there. I think that one was to the left. Let's just do one more for good measure. I just realized <laughs> that I'm shooting directly at my freaking tripod down there. Holy crap. All right, we were at three here. Let's go for that top middle. Let's see if we can get this in focus any better. No, we probably can't. We're at three, right? Just hold right three on it. That was high. So let's do like two and a half. And we were 
a little bit to the right. Let's do like, yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh. That was low and to the left a tiny little bit. All right, let's go for like that. I think that was good. I think that was good. <laughs> Doing better than with this than the M car. Sorry if you're seeing like in the top right, the little picture in picture is just a pile of dirt. <laughs> I think that was just a little bit high and to the left. the right just put a cup more in there I think that was top and left all right I think that was just a little bit to the left let's go for that top right headshot or top, let's go top left a little bit high and up. I mean, well, obviously it's high and up. High and left. <laughs> Touch left, I think. It's hard to tell. I do not like this digital zoom if I haven't already mentioned that 15 times. Still hard to tell. I think I'm just a little bit left. Still. I think I was even further left than I was aiming more to the right. Let's go more. I think that was good. Two more. One more. One more and then we're gonna reset. That was way right, I mean way left. Why do I always say the opposites? All right, top, top right headshot, we, gotta, we, got, we have to now. I can't tell, but I want to say I went through the same hole. But like I said, I can't tell. All right, I'm going to pause right here. Let's reset. We'll do, I guess we'll do this, something similar. But let's just go through, let me reset. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's do a Know Your Limits at 35 yards to start off. I can't aim down far enough without changing my setup, so let's just go. I just don't want the scope cam footage to be like a jarring mess, which is why I really like having the tripod and the monopod out. That was the easiest know your limit ever. Because with the gauntlet, 
And it just makes life so much easier. Especially with Griffin Bowtail Slugs. Alright, 70 yard Texas Star. Let's see how this goes. Let's make it a little bit easier first. We'll do the other one uh, bottom down. Just sucks with this setup right now. It's hard to make quick adjustments on the fly. So I'm waiting for it to spin back around. One done. I have to take this one at kind of an angle. this one. I don't think I can aim up high enough though. <laughs> it's the only awkward thing. Can we get it on the swing on the bottom? Damn. We're gonna have to finish it off like that though. <sighs> that was pretty sweet. All right, 100 yards. Whew. 100 yards and then we'll wrap up. All right, we were on the three, two, three. All right, are we as good focus as we can be? All right, here we go. Get that a little bit better. Don't want any more zoom. I could probably hit a couple of these plates and they won't even knock off. It takes a lot of foot pounds for this. <sighs> what is the bullet travel time here? That was just a random guess. I want to hit it as it's swinging around that's gonna be like my goal although I keep hitting the target stand I feel like I need to shoot earlier just hard to tell Honestly, not even sure. This thing's going crazy. Wow, that is way early. I'm going to have to look and time it and see how long it takes for this round to get there. Come on. That, I, I'm still late. I just don't know when to go. That was honestly probably pretty close. Sorry about this part of the video. It's all trial and error. Oh, that was awful. It looked like it was going to start spinning back around earlier. Too early. I thought that was going to be good. 
I'm not giving up. I want to shoot it when it's like on the left or right, but we're doing this. I think I'm actually under the reg pressure right now. I need to refill my tank. Maybe I have to go up a tiny little bit higher. All right, now I'm debating just shooting it when it's <laughs> not rotating. Well, I hit it, but it didn't fall off. All right, screw it. As I can't even hit it here. All right, finally, that is over. Sorry for that lackluster performance at the end. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you'd like to see similar videos like this, less editing, more natural, I guess, we can do that if it didn't bore the crap out of you. If you'd rather see magazine fed versus single feeding to hopefully speed things up, just let me know. If there's a particular gun I have that you would like to see brought out, I, I can do that. Just let me know. Let's see. We got the 22 Kratos, the 25 Kratos, 177 Condor, this Gauntlet 30, my other Gauntlet 30, the 308 Texan, 72 Caliber Zeus, Umarex Hammer, Hats and Blitz, AEA SF 25 and 30 Cal. Uh, I have two Benjamin or two B Man brake barrels, Deanna Chaser, Deanna Bandit, uh, AEA Harpoon, uh, Cuban GK1. I think that's it. Oh, B Man Chief 2. So if there's anything you want to see like this, I can do that. Just let me know. We can do something similar. Hopefully, the scope cam footage comes out decent. And if you're wondering why the hell it looks like this is the eye relief is like pretty much like this like this so you just gotta stick your face in there. <laughs> i don't know how comfortable i'd feel about um using high high caliber high powered rifles or something with this and it just you know, smash in the face but other than that, I think that uh, hopefully the footage comes out good. It looked better this time than it did the last time. I just, I'm not a big fan of the digital zoom. I'm thinking about taking this back out at night too, doing another night shoot and hopefully, I feel like part of that was my fault, the first footage. So maybe, uh, maybe a redo is in order. Okay. So yeah.